Welcome to Golden Nuggets, where truth and wisdom get married and bring forth enlightenment. I want to speak to you today about discipline, the greatest asset and secret to most people's success. Today is all about exploration and introspection. And I want to challenge you to take a moment to recognize the gap between your potential and your execution. It's time to elevate and evolve. I am Ezra, AKA the voice of reason, over and out. Welcome to Golden Nuggets, bite-sized truths in moments of need. And if this is your first time joining me here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on discipline because discipline is your best friend. And for way too long, discipline has been getting a bad rep. But today, I'm gonna to reveal to you the truth and the secret nuggets that discipline can bring to your life. So let's get into this. And so first of all, I want you to have clarity around this and to understand that discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. You see, Everyone can set a goal, whether it's a New Year's resolution or things that you just want to do, whether it's in your health or in terms of your finances or in your relationship, you know, or in your business. But the only way that you can accomplish those, the only way that they can become a reality, the only way that they can be brought into fruition is when you have discipline, is when you have that dedication, that commitment that consistency to ensure that you push through and press on until you manifest that thing which you desire. And so today is such an important message for you because I know for many of you listening to this today, you are going to recognize and understand where a lack of discipline has prevented you from receiving and achieving your goals or where your commitment to discipline has enabled you to achieve your commitment and your goals. So, one of the things that we have to understand is that motivation is what gets you started. So whether it's because, you know, you've put on weight and you're motivated to, to lose weight and to get back to the size that you was, or whether you're motivated to get out of your situation and you want to be able to financially support yourself or others, or whether it is that, you know, you want to just achieve certain things in life and so you're motivated to make that change. Well, motivation gets you started and that's very important. You know, you need to start. You know, some people never even start. They just wish and hope, thinking that, by wishing and hoping something's going to change. So actually starting is great. Having a motivation to start is good. But the truth of the matter is, discipline gets you to the finish line. Discipline is what makes you push past your feelings to do what you know you need to do. Discipline is what enables you to push past your failures and your fears to get to that finish line. Discipline is the key tool to finishing and executing whatever it is that you plan to do or are in the midst of doing right now. And so we have to have discipline. It's the vital clue, ingredient, and secret to so many people's success. And if there is anyone in your life, if there is anyone that you know that has been successful in any area, have a conversation with them and just ask them, are they disciplined in that area? And what do they make sure they consistently do 
in order for them to achieve their success. So, when we're talking about discipline, I want to make sure we are clear. There are five essential areas that need to be um, acted upon to ensure that we have discipline, that focus, that determination, the eye of the tiger, as we can see in this man's face. Well, the first thing is self-awareness. You see, we have to have self-awareness. We have to be aware of what's going on for us, how we're feeling, what's happening, what's taking place. And that self-awareness enables us to be able to understand ourselves, understand when we're in flow state, understand when we're struggling, understand when we're fearful, understand when we are committed, understand when we're given 100% compared to 80%. And that self-awareness helps us to also know what we're thinking about, what story and narrative we're telling ourselves, because that plays a key role in the actions we take. And so self-awareness is the first stage. Without that, we can't get onto any of the others. But once you are self-aware, then you are able to be able to go to the next step which is self-regulation. You see, because if I know I'm angry and I'm upset about something, then I'm able to operate in a way that I can regulate that, that I can calm myself down, that I can remind myself that if I act out of my emotions, the consequences that may come as a result of that. And so in order to have self-regulation, you have to have self-awareness. And that self-regulation is so important you see, if, if someone is a professional bodybuilder, they have to eat a certain way. They have to regulate how they feel. They often don't eat for pleasure. They eat to create their body. And so when people are really disciplined about something and they have a self-awareness of their goals and what they want to achieve and they know their why, they're able to regulate themselves. They're able to distance themselves from the things that's not beneficial for them. They're able to manage their emo emotions so that they don't only do things when they feel in the mood. They can push themselves through even in those times when they don't feel like doing it, when they don't feel like getting up, where they don't feel like writing, where they don't feel like working, where they don't feel like talking. They push through self-regulation, being able to manage what's going on inside of you having that emotional intelligence. And as a result of that self-regulation, we are then able to have self-control because everything is an inside job. You see, self-regulation is an inside job. Self-control is how that manifests outside. See, I could be really angry and I self-regulate myself. And then as a result of that, I operate out of self-control in how I speak, how I respond, how I react to that situation or circumstance. And so we need to have self-control. Without self-control, we will always fall victim to our emotions, to our situations and our circumstances. There is a saying that says, he who angers you conquers you. And self-regulation is about us being able to manage how we're feeling and self-control enables us to respond rather than react. And so, we need to have self-control with our eating habits, with our thinking habits, with our doing habits. Self-control is essential. Someone without self-control may earn money and get rich, but they won't stay having money and being rich. So self-control is what enables us to navigate through life and maintain the things, whether it's our peace, whether it's our wealth, whether it's our health. And then the fourth stage is self-motivation. The ability to motivate yourself without outside stimuli. And this is really key because for those individuals who have to have someone else, who have to have something else, something from outside of themselves motivating them, they will always be limited because when that thing ain't there, they ain't able to perform in the same way. 
But when you have self-motivation, when there is something deep within you, when there is an intrinsic motivation that's in causing you to move, to act, to do, even when you're tired, even when you're fearful, even when you're angry, even when you're frustrated, then nothing can stop you. And that self-motivation essentially is your why, your purpose, something that's deeper, stronger, and greater than yourself something that drives you forward, something that compels you to move on and to do in spite of how you feel or what's happening around you. And those people who are able to achieve success in their life is because there's always something greater pulling them than themselves, something that compels them to move forward, to keep going, to fight another day. So when they experience a failure, not give up, but get up again. And the final piece to the puzzle in terms of what discipline involves is being process driven. You see, so many people in life are success driven. So only when they get the success do they feel motivated. And some people are praise driven. So only when they're getting praise from people and people are you know, acknowledging them and talking about them and they're getting likes on social media and, you know, getting the attention of other people that they can be driven. But when you are process driven, it takes you to a whole nother level. You see, when you're process driven, it doesn't even matter if you fail because you realize you're getting closer in terms of the process and where you want to get to. When you're process driven, you see, it makes no difference whether you fail or succeed because you're on a path and a journey and you know with each stage, with each incident, with each failure and with each success is bringing you closer to your best version of you. And so I want to encourage you to begin to be process driven because if you have a big goal, if you have a, a massive goal, it's not gonna happen overnight. But if you can recognize with every interaction, with every decision, with every choice, with every book you read, with every exercise you do, with every transition you make, you are going through a process of transformation. And at the end of that is self-mastery. That's when everything changes. That's when discipline will say, just do one more. Keep going. Give it another try. And so I want to encourage you to begin to have a process-driven mindset. Whenever you have a conversation with someone, this is process driven. What are you gaining from this? What are you learning from this? And when you do that, discipline is able to keep you, to push you until you make your success. And even when you make your success, because you are process driven, you stay focused, you stay committed. You don't lose your drive, your determination and your attitude. And so these five areas are essential if you want to have the discipline that equals success. And so I encourage you, if any of these areas you are lacking in, begin to work on it, begin to develop it, because in doing so, you're taking yourself one step further, one process further to discipline, which equals success. And so there is a thing that I call the three Ds. And that is your decisions define destiny. I'll say that again. Your decisions define destiny. Every decision you make is either taking you closer to or further away from your goals, your dreams, and your desires. Every decision you make is either making you or breaking you. Every decision you make is key to defining your life. Do you know that there is so many people that I worked with when I worked in prison that one decision changed their life and they spent five, 10, 15, 20 years in prison because of it. And I know other people have made one decision and that one decision has changed their life for the better. I once worked with someone who was an a, a, a inspiration to me and a motivation to me and went through so many things in his life. But even in spite of all the difficulties and the challenge that he faced, he was still successful 
he had achieved so much. He learned four different languages. He'd, he'd moved and lived in several different countries. He'd done many great feats. And when I asked him, you know, with all that you've experienced, you know, your parents being addicts and, you know, you're going through all of these things and all these life experiences that you've had, which would have caused for many people to give up on life. How is it that you were still able to be successful and make all these right decisions in your life? And you know what he said to me? It blew me away. What he said is, I would always ask myself, what would my father have done and did the opposite. It was as simple as that. The decisions that we make define our destiny. And so it's important that we are all aware and that we, we, we understand that goals cannot be achieved without discipline. That whatever it is that you are seeking or desiring, you know, it cannot be achieved without discipline. It cannot be achieved without you being able to push past when you don't feel like doing it. You won't be able to do it if you are only relying on when you're really motivated and you are emotionally attached to that. You see, you cannot achieve your goals if it's only done when everything's going right because life doesn't serve any of us in that way. And so you have to make a choice, even today, right now. You can sacrifice right now, or you can choose to enjoy right now and sacrifice later. The wise, the smart, and the successful people choose to sacrifice now so that they can enjoy later. And so I want to ask you, think about it, what today what could you sacrifice today and do something that's going to get you closer to your goals, dreams, and desires? Is that just taking a time out from social media and working on that dream that you have? Is it maybe, you know, just putting Netflix down for a couple of days, for a couple of weeks, and really investing in that thing, whether it's that book that you wanted to write, whether it's getting fitness and, and taking time out and going for a walk or a jog or for a bike ride? You know, what is it that you desire and what are you doing to get you there? Because it's not going to be a, a magic genie that you can rub and then all of a sudden success happens. It takes discipline, it takes dedication, it takes commitment and it takes consistency. And the greater your dream and desire and goal is, is the more discipline that you will need. So one of the things that I want you to really understand is that if you are going through the funk right now, if you're having a time of difficulty, things ain't working out, you're experiencing failures and disappointment, you're not at the place that you want to be. Everyone experiences this. You see, everyone has a chapter that they don't read out loud in their life. Everyone experiences difficulties and challenges and and situations and circumstances that make them doubt themselves. The difference is for those people who are disciplined, they push through, they keep going, and they recognize in the end that it was about a process driven exercise. They had to push through and keep going until they developed the muscles, the resilience, the fortitude, and the wisdom to be able to get over that hurdle. And so I want to encourage you, regardless of what you are facing right now, what you're experiencing and what you're going through, you are able to do this. It's just going to take hard work and dedication. And this is not the final chapter of your life. So keep going and make the end of your story be a great, a great example and testimony to others. And so... The reality of it is this, everyone wants to be successful until they see what it actually takes. And so if you want to achieve whatever it is in your life, ask yourself, what are you willing to go through? What are you willing to endure? What are you willing to face? What are you willing to experience? What are you willing to grow through? And as much as you are willing to go through to get there, 
determines how quick and if you ever do achieve your goals, your targets, your objectives. And so self-discipline is what we're talking about here. The ability to push yourself forward, stay motivated and take action regardless of how you're feeling physically or emotionally. And this is what sets the men from the boys, the women from the girls. This is what it's all about. Because if you are always driven and your final decision is determined based on how you're feeling physically or emotionally, that means success is going to be like a seesaw up and down. There one moment and then stop. It may be great for a period of time and then it's going to be lacking. And so it's so important that we understand that regardless of what's happening and how you're feeling, you push yourself through it. It doesn't matter whether you are really motivated or you're feeling low, you still do because you're process driven. And it's about taking action because whenever we delay and whenever we stop from doing something we should do, we are sending signals to our brain to tell us something ain't right. This is danger. And as a defense mechanism, our brain will tell us a story and a narrative to keep us away from that. And that's why procrastination could be so dangerous because it will reinforce a habit loop in our mind telling us to stay away from that thing, which is the very thing we need to do to make us be successful. And so I encourage you today, where you have been lacking, where you have been dropping the ball, where you have been procrastinating, today, take up self-discipline and you'll begin to see things change dramatically in your life. So, the question that I always tell myself or the statement that I always tell myself is if I don't change, I choose to stay the same. And the same thing is true to you. You can either have barrenness, lack, disappointment, regret, and sorrow. Or you can make a choice to change. And you can have abundance, harvest, growth, peace, serenity, and gratitude. And so the choice is yours. Every day when we wake up. We have two options. We have two things that's available to us, a chance and a choice. And with the chance that you're given today, you can make a choice to make it great, to make a difference, to be process driven. But the choice is yours. And the chance is only for today. And so what we're talking about here is discipline. And remember, and understand and build an order in your heart and mind so that you understand that discipline is your ticket to success. And without it, no individual, no human being in all of mankind has been able to maintain their wealth, their success, and their celebrations of victory and growth without having discipline. It is the root of the tree of success. And so equate yourself with it and become fully immersed in it so that you can have your success and your victory in whatever area and to whatever degree you desire. And so I really want you to take hold of what I'm about to say because you can choose to operate in discipline now or you can say later and the problem is that so many people put things off they put it off for tomorrow for next week next month next year and it never happens you see you can either be day one for you right now in terms of making this change of discipline or it can be one day and that's later, one day. When is that? That day never comes. And so I hope something stirs inside of you today and that you say, today is the day. Right now is day one. This is my moment to make a change. 
and so that you can start to see things happen differently in your life because if nothing changes nothing changes and so i want to leave you with this final point which is so important that you understand this about success because you have to pay the price in full for success you have to pay the price in full you can't give 50 percent. you can't give 20 percent you have to pay the price in full and you have to put in the work first before it comes and this is where many people make the mistake you think you can just put in 20 percent, and then success comes it does not work that way you have to pay the price in full blood sweat and tears and you have to put in the work first before success comes you see success only surrenders to those who it knows refuses to give up and so when you invest, when you are committed, when you are consistent, and when you are disciplined, success says, okay, you got the best of me, and it will give you what you desire. So when you are going through the struggle, when you are going through difficulties, when you're facing barriers and hurdles, keep going, keep going, because at the end of your pain and your disappointments and your setbacks, is success, victory, and blessings. So I encourage you, and I want you to come acquainted with one of the best friends you could ever have in your life, and that is discipline. So I hope you found this message useful and that it resonated with you in some way. And if you did find it useful, check out my YouTube channel, for loads of different videos. I have over 150 videos on this channel dedicated to empowering and motivating you. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again on the other side. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it stirred something within you. Leave a comment below and let me know one nugget that you will take away from what you've just heard and share this video with your friends and your loved ones who you know need to hear this message and check out my youtube channel which is dedicated to supporting and empowering you and remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell as this is me calling you for our next one-to-one -one. so as always stay blessed Remain grateful and manifest your greatness.